Hello everyone, it is I King Mike X here with another Gallery in the last video. Today I'm gonna to be talking over the dragon I'm gonna be doing my dragon theaters for August. Um so ton I'm gonna go over these kind of free free for most of these. So for the for, so nothing special is gonna be here in the in any of the lower tiers. They're nothing special. Why three star dragons and most of the four star Great, the great worms aren't that great. That's why I put them in D. They're useless, basically. And then we're moving on to D plus. We have here Ara uh, Pele, Erasmus, Pauliahu, uh, uh, Sylvia, Stryberg, uh, Shishimai, Unicorn, the Fafniers, and Zodiac, who he burns, they both have stats better than Brunhilda, and he, he burns specifically. He doesn't do anything special with the skill. She's a healing dragon, with well, these two are strength dragons. She's a healing dragon who can also freeze the enemies. Both of these are healing dragons. Nothing too special. She's is a quick damage dragon, like 70%, which seems good, but he doesn't do anything. Doesn't have any straight freeze, and his skill gives a random buff. Then there's Unicorn, the Healing Night Dragon, nothing too special. And the Fafnir's are resources, and Zodiac is a little bit better because his skill actually has a second attribute. Then we have, of course, the these dragons, which 4-star strength burns the target, nothing special for Ifrit. Then we have here Pit. Um, um, what was his name again? Uh, it was uh, Penglai, who the only reason I put him up here is because he can actually bog his target, which is very useful in the water meta. Uh, Poseidon is an HP strength dragon that, that doesn't have any secondary effects. Why do you know it's a four star strength dragon? Um, Yulong strength dragon doesn't do anything special. Rock four star strength dragon can stun his enemies. Then one four star strength dragon doesn't have anything special with the skill. How in Silky's HP and strength dragon that can debuff the enemy's strength with the with a skill. Phantom strength dragon from Event Welfare that can actually that also blinds his targets. Maritimus, who is a healing dragon, HP and strength dragon that can freeze the targets with his skill. Then we have here is uh, Juggernaut, 4-star strength dragon, Silk, 4-star HP and strength dragon that can decrease the enemy's defense with a skill. Moving on, we have here uh, for those HP and strength dragon that can burn a target and does pretty good damage. Like almost 1500% with this skill. Uh, then we have here Styx. Is, his ability is weird, but it's nothing special. He Every every 15 seconds, you get 50% strength max, and max it out at 200%. But once you use a skill, it goes away. And his, in his dragon form, his a skill on that isn't that spec is it can do a lot of damage, but you have to charge it up by attacking, and you might not hit the max before you use it, or before time runs out. Um, then of course there's Samurg, a HP forty percent and overdrive Punisher sixty percent dragon, which unfortunately kind of. It, with her attack, where she has an attack skill that also heals the team, but nothing special. She needs a dedicated healing skill to make her useful. Then there's many mids. He's an HP and strength welfare dragon that we got for half for the one year anniversary. He does a lot of damage with his with his dragon skill though. It's the third strongest dragon skill in the game, uh, doing about fifteen sixty damage. 15-60% damage or so. That's the modifier. Then we have here Garuda, uh, HP 60 Dragon. Um, she has a lifesteal skill that only hits the user, so that's why she's down below. If she had a better one, she would be more useful. Um, moving on, we have here Liger, who is an HP and Strength Dragon, who paralyzes his skill helps paralyze the enemy. Then there's Parallel Zodiac, who is a Strength and Crit Damage Dragon. Um, 
over federal welfare, so he doesn't have his exchange twenty five percent and of and crit damage forty percent. But yeah, he's nothing. He's so oh, he's probably the best of the event. One of the best of the event welfare dragons. Him and Ravalos. Then we have here Minizati, who is an HP and strength dragon, but he has the strongest dragon skill in the game at eighteen hundred percent damage. Then we have Barbados, who is he could get he's a strength dragon who could get up to sixty percent strength, even though he's event welfare, but only for low HP units. For you, oh, it only works with low HP units because you have to have less than thirty percent, so that's the one downside. Moving on, what's going to be here? We're going to talk a little bit more. First up, we have here High Brunhilda, Prometheus, High Mercury, High, 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 um, High, um, Midgar Sormiers. Sorry about that. I was my friend. High Jupiter, High, um, uh, uh, and of course, um, Gar Gilgamesh, high Z and then High Zodiac, and the Arthotep, Needhog, and Ebisu. So first up, High Mer Hilda is a strength. He is a is all the high dragons are HP and strength dragons with dragon time. She High Ben Hilda burns though with her skill. Then we have uh, Prometheus, who is an element, is, is a strength and element, strength and element res dragon, who does strength 50 and element res, I think, like 20, it was like 15 or 20, yeah, 15%, yeah, 50 percent strength and 50% wind resistance. Mm, doesn't do any special effects with his skill. Then we have here High Mercury, who is, who I already talked about, they all had the same thing about it. All the high dragons have the same abilities. The, um, her skill bogs. High moving on to high high Midgar Sormir. Only his skill only the his skill on um his skill stuns the enemy. Then we have High Jupiter who paralyzes the enemy. And so that's the reason why I put him above Lagger, because High Jupiter is just a better version of Lagger. Gilgamesh is the other element red for, is basically the life version of Prometheus, strength and element res, nothing special with the skill. High Zodiac doesn't inflict a status element, it doesn't inflict a status effect like poison or any of that stuff, instead, it increases enemy's defense by 10%. Moving on here, we have Needhog, who is a strength and HP dragon with and his skill, HP and strength dragon, and his skill blinds the enemy. He's one of the he. I put him up here because he's one of the better premier HP and str strength. With dragons specifically, he's good for healing. For he was good, he was one of the best dragons used for a healer. Um, then moving on, we have here Nyarlathotep, who is essentially a. He would be better if it wasn't for his abilities. Um, he, nothing special happens with the skill, but it does good damage. But his abilities are lacking because he has a strength plus fifty percent, but only when you have. Only when that adventurer who has him equipped has 30% or more HP. Once it goes below that, he loses that. And his second skill only activates when you have 30 when you get down to 30% or low HP, which gives you a one a one use a one use shield that can stack and it, it gives you a 30% strength increase, but it goes away once you do that. So you can get up to 80% if you get lucky enough to only go about eight to thirty percent. But once you lose more than that and you lose your shield, you, it goes from 80% to zero. That's the reason why I put him down now. He's not that great. Ebisu is a event welfare healing dragon who only heals the user, but also gives regen to the user. So that's the reason why I put him up here. He's actually a pretty good healing dragon. Um, event welfare healing dragon for Shadow. He gives HP plus 40%. The most out of any H that's the most out of any dragon ability that gives HP that increases HP. Moving on, we have here Agni, who is a strength dragon. And does he uh, is strength plus 60% dragon. He doesn't do any unfortunately he doesn't have any uh, special effect on his skill, but uh, he does at least pretty good damage. Then we have Kagachuchi, who is a prime strength dragon, which essentially they have strength forty five percent, and 
every time there, whoever has to record every time that uses initial skill is is filled up to the top so like they, they have the SP requirements are met you get a strength push 15% giving you strength 6 essentially giving you the strength 60 but the one issue is is that it can't you it lasts for 10 seconds and and it and it only and you can't and this one activate again until um for another 10 seconds so you can't really stack it um he burns though with his skill um then we have here Kamui who's basically the same thing as these three Kakashuchi, Kamui, and Hester are punishing dragons. Kakashuchi burns the target. Uh, Kamui uh, freezes the target, and Hester sleep puts the target to sleep. Takami Kazuchi is a strength forty percent, and Overdrive Punisher puts twenty five percent dragon. Um, who also stuns? Who also paralyzes the enemy? Or no, stuns the enemy. Yeah, so. He could have. I wish he was better, but and you take you went to you take what you get. Moving on, we have here Cerberus, who is better than he's she's just drink sixty percent drink, just like Gagme. The main issue, the main difference is, is that Cerberus does more. The main difference is, is that Cerberus does more, uh, is better because her skill is better because her skill burns the target. And also can reduce. It has a chance to be thirty percent chance to reduce the enemy's strength, but also a hundred percent chance to reduce the enemy's defense. So that's the reason why I put her above uh, Agni. Then we have your Phoenix, which is a very good healing dragon. In fact, one of the reasons why I don't think five we have a five star eight healing dragon at all is because of Phoenix, because she's only forty five percent HP, but her healing skill is top notch in that it is he was the second in terms of dragon skills it is the second best healing skill in fact it could in fact it might have been number one if if she was either a five star or if the if she was a if phoenix was a five star um then we have here and she's been here since a lot so that tells you how good she is then we have here Dragon Yuzhan, who is a strength fit strength forty percent dragon, crit rate twenty percent dragon. Her skill actually freezes the targets, which is useful, but she's been replaced by she's she's been beaten up by Nimis, who I'll talk to in a, about in a minute. Moving on, we have here Zephyr, who Zephyr is a strength sixty percent dragon who stuns the enemy with his skill. Then we have Long Wang, a strength is a strength and crit damage dragon, who does a, who has an attacking skill. His strength he boosts strength by forty percent and crit damage by fifty five percent. The one issue is, is that his skill doesn't have a secondary effect. Moving on, we got a light, moving on. We have here Jean D'Arc. Jean D'Arc is she used to be lower, but because of Tartarus and because of Hildegard's Spanish Barrel. She's more useful now, and her she's an HP sixty percent dragon, and she has her skill is an attacker skill that gives defense in forty percent, which is the second most you you could get, which is second second highest, which in terms of which in terms of skills, no other skill only one skill gives more defense than hers, which is which is um. Uh, Grace of skill. So there you go. And then we have Shithonius, who is a strength, uh, who has strength fifty five percent and Dragon Might, which every time you transform, she you get a permanent ten percent strength increase. It caps out at two of those, so you can only have up to seventy five percent strength, but he's still good. Also, he inflicts poison with his skill. Now moving on, we have here, of course, um, Arctos, who is, uh, who is another. Strength and crit damage dragon like Long Run, but the difference is his skill has a secondary effect which stuns the enemy. Then we have Nimis, who is in the same boat as Long Run and Arctos. The main difference his skill is a healing skill which only hits the user, but it also sets up, fills up the dragon gate, the shapeshift gauge by 20% and increases extend shapeshift time by 5 seconds, which 
is still pretty good. I wish it, he had an attack still, but I can take some of you to do some, but he's still a good dragon. And is used more, and is right now used more than a, a dragon years on. Then we have here Soma, Soma Kona Hanasakiya. Her skill is a healing skill, which also gives this thing called smi Smiling Flowers. And that's plays into her ability. Her ability it has it where she gets these Smiling Flowers. They're permanent buffs that, which, and and depending on how many you have, the more buffs you have, and it's per and it's permanent. These ones. So the first you get you when you start off the quest, you automatically could get ones, and the first one gives you strength plus forty percent. So you already have strength plus forty percent. Now every sixty seconds you get one of those, but you also get one from you every time you use your skill. So you should be able to transform by her by the first time, after the first. You should be able to transform into her after the first, by the before the first minute. At which point, by one minute, she's actually stronger than Vayu. It would do more damage than Vayu. But unfortunately, Expert Siawa could get cleared faster than the faster. Uh, well, going ahead of myself. Um, the reason why I'm saying this is because her second flower gives defense plus 20%, her first flower gives strength plus 40%, her third flower gives skill damage plus 50%, her fourth flower gives water res plus 5%, her fifth flower doesn't give anything, and her sixth flower gives an HP regen, which cures you for 20% of your HP uh, every 3.9 seconds. So, yeah. She, if you get to six, six flowers, you're basically almost unkillable. Um, mind you, it shouldn't really go for that way because Expert CR could be finished up in, in maybe a little over a minute. It's not, it, Expert CR could go by really fast now because the people are fine speed clears, but hopefully when Master CR comes out, we will see more use out of her, out of her. Moving on, we have here, of course, um, we have here. What's his name again? Uh, Garnon, who Garnon's whole gimmick. Is, so the thing is with Garnon, is he's better than the Art of Thirta. He has strength plus fifty percent, and here's and here's his gimmick. He gets this shield, a Dauntless shield, which can sack with an ordinary shield. And while you have that shield, you have thirty percent strength increase. But instead of it being a HP requirement, you get it every fifteen seconds. You don't get knocked back by the enemy. So any anything that causes you to get knocked back by the enemy, if you if you don't get knocked back for fifty seconds, you get the shield. So that's really useful. Now moving on, we have here Popstar Simon, who is her skill. She gives strength plus forty percent, or yeah, strength, or yeah, strength plus forty percent, and acceleration, which increases the drag gate, increases the amount of the time you stay in shape stuff by three seconds. It max for the entire team that is. It maxes out at five, so it's really only if you want to maximize the use out of acceleration, you only use it twice. You only use you only have two people who have that. But her thing is she doesn't do much damage in the dragon form, but her use is that she's a buffing dragon, where she does where she will give you strength plus twenty percent, defense plus twenty percent, and energy level and three energy levels with her skill, and it can be used twice. So by the end of it, you can have. 40% percent inc increase to your strength and defense and have be energized. Moving on, we have here Marishiten. Marishiten can only do strength plus 60. Per Marishiten does strength plus 60 um, is a strength 60%. The only reason why I put her about Sithonius is because she inflicts bleed with her skill, which is a very useful affliction. Uh, both that and Frostbite are very useful, so seeing as how there's no way to really resist those right now. So, yeah, that's the whole thing with her. That's why I put her above Sithonius. Especially because you could poison, stack poison, and max out the poison kind of early. Then there's Andromeda, who's seen more significant use thanks to the fact that Belina is seeing more play. Where she does shrink, push forty percent. But when the but when 
the venture that has equipped uh, just under 30% HP or lower, you get another 40% strength, uh, so boosting up to 80% and defense plus 100. And her skill does strength and defense plus 40. It was a, a, is a de it has a defense buff too. It is, yeah, there's four hits of, yeah, increases target the defense by 30% for 15 seconds. So yeah, see strength when HP is 30% or below. So yeah, he's, she's useful for characters like Belina. And Veronica, who have, seen, is, who have gotten more use now in Master Cayenne, especially Belina, for a speed quiz now. Now let's move on to S. We have here for striking Raphalos, who is very unique. He has strength plus 50%. Um, if I'm wrong correctly, is it, is it strength plus 50%? Yep, or oh, strength plus 55% and for strike damage plus 6 for six damage, but per sixty percent, then increases skill gauge fill rate. Striking case two, which increases skill gauge fill rate by thirty percent when the user first strike connects, but slows the rate the move gauge increases by thirty percent. So he has a skill that burns targets, but he is a very good dragon. In fact, he's one of the premier dragons for sword adventurers, and uh, and is actually the best dragon on both on on uh, both um. Uh, Hunter Berserker and um, what was her name again? Uh, Chelsea, I think it was. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Chelsea. Yeah, Chelsea. So that gives you some clue. Then we have Kona Hanasaki, uh, who is a strength 20% and skill damage plus 90% dragon, whose main skill does more damage whose main skill does more damage, um, uh, whose main skill does more damage, uh, uh, whose, whose, her skill does, makes it so that the next skill you, when you use it, it gives you a buff that makes your next, the, the person makes the user's next skill do 40% more damage. Then there's Apollo, who is a strength plus fit, who is a strength plus 50% and Bernie Punisher Dragon. Who also inflicts burn with his skill and reduces the defense the enemy's defense by five percent for ten seconds. So these three are three of the best dragons on flame, but they're not the best. And we'll talk about the best. Moving on, we have Gab Gabney and Crenne, who are also unique in the case that they have strength push forty five percent and skill recharge, where fierce fit thirty five percent of a skill skill gauge after using that skill. And Gabney and Crenny have a skill where they create a buff zone that lasts for 10 seconds, increasing the first skill gauge of prevention decided by 9.1% every 0 0.9 seconds. Essentially, this skill will max, and when you have a max stun bound, it will max out that person's skill gauge. Um, if they stay in it the whole time, essentially. So, yeah, there's that. And then moving on here, we have Siren. Siren is, of course, just a, is the water version of Kona Hanasakiya. Same abilities and same skills. Does, I think, less damage, though, than Kona Hanasakiya. Then we have here P Leviathan, who is the best strength 60% dragon. The reason why I have him up here so high is because, well, he's very useful. Because... His main skill bogs, so he does a ton of damage and is very useful for water meta. But he's the premier dragon. Uh, in fact, if you're doing uh, Fiorenci's on uh, Master or Expert Hyper and Hilda, um, he, he uh, Fiorm uses this one. Four times Fiorenci that is. Same thing with other units too. Um, then we have Howie Maritimus, who is a skill HP 30 and skill haste plus 35% dragon. Um, he is a limited time unit, but his skill, he is a very, he's one, he's the best skill, best dragon for heroes, as well as the second best dragon for both, for buffers on water, specifically, uh, well, specifically OGO and, and Gawa Ali. OGO and Gawa Ali, or as they're called, Ali and Gali. Um, the, 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 they're the second best. The best is Gabney and Krenne. In fact, that's the most, that's the best dragon on that's one of the best dragons on water 
Gavin Crane and Simon. Um, his skill is a healing skill that also puts on a buff zone that lasts for 10 seconds where veterans sustain and size that do 30% more damage with their with their um, skills. So there's that. Then we have Vayu who is the, basically the strength is basically the, one of the skill damage dragons like Siren and Konohana Sakia. Um, his same effect, do, his, does the, his skill does the most damage out of the three. And his attack rate and his attacks are pretty good, uh, better than these two. Then moving on, we have Pazuzu, who is basically the wind version of wind version of Apollo. Does basically the same things in, as well, like the increasing defense for the enemy. Um, but um, he does poison instead of burn. So yeah, Pazuzu is great. Great, yeah. See, same thing. Um, 30 seconds while flame from correctly or power does. Yeah, yeah, basically, yeah, basically the one version of, of Apollo. Then we have here Freya, who is also uh, the wind version, is one of the other HP skill haste dragons. There are, there are four in total, right? I'm going to go over it and all in here. She is the best one in terms of the HP skill haste dragons because Hers is a heal. Remember how I said Phoenix has the second best healing skill? Uh, Freya's is the strongest. Um, it doesn't heal. It, the region's uh, percentage isn't as well as the as well as the group heal isn't as high. Doesn't have as high percentage like the modifiers as Phoenix. But her region lasts longer, by five seconds. And because she's a five star dragon, she, even though her ability is only strength HP plus thirty percent compared to Phoenix's forty. HP plus forty five percent, she still ends up healing more. But oh, oh and she also for the entire it's her, of course it's for the entire team. Also, she energizes the entire team, which is even better than so these ones with these ones the increased skill damage by forty percent and only for the user. And I'll talk about for both for Konan Asakiya, Siren and Vayu. But yeah, she, she energizes the entire team, which is very useful. Then we have Ariel, who is a strength fifty and skill dam and skill and skill haste plus thirty percent, the only one of a kind. In truth, in terms of damage, well, okay, Freya and Ariel, I put them on the same tier, got the all have different utility. If you're going for hair the response, then Freya's of expert Sierra, then Freya's your go to dragon. But if you're having a second buffer or Oh, and also she's a premier dragon for clearing uh, when Mister and you need Freya also for clearing uh, water and Mister Goldman water six level sixty with wind characters. Now move, now we have Ariel and Ariel. If you have a second buffer for MG or or expert Sierra or if you're using a healer. Use Ariel because she ends up giving more damage to. She ends up make because the buffers end up doing more damage with her, is including Tobias the best bu best buffer on wind. So yeah, that's the reason why I put them on the same tier because she, for dam DPS wise you're doing Ariel for utility wise for Heroes ones you use Freya, Heroes ones as well as a, uh, MG, one and level sixty use Freya. Moving on to light we have here, um. First up, we have, of course, uh, Deku Kuten, a time limited dragon. One of the, yeah, one of the few time limited dragons. The time limited dragons are, well, besides the event welfare dragons, are Drag King Rafflers and Drag King Rafflers, Harumin Maritimus, um, Deku Kuten, and um, fa uh, this one, which is a uh, uh, not, not, no, no, it was a. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm forgetting his name right now. It is a. Uh, uh, Fatalis, and these three dragons up here, which I'll talk about. Um, so, Daku Kuten is strength plus 55, or strength plus, yeah, I'm pretty sure strength plus 55%. Uh, yeah, strength plus 65% and flurry strength plus 25%. So you can get up to 80. And flurry strength essentially 
is when you get a combo counter 15 to high, you get 25% strength increase. So yeah, that's a good thing. But unfortunately, it's Daikoku Tenkawi isn't too much as useful, specifically on swords, because you're not going to be, it's hard to keep up a constant counter. But yeah, it's still very useful. And her skill increases attack rate. But her skill increases attack rate when you does damage and increases attack rate. It increases a bust zone that lasts for 10 seconds and increases the attack rate defense decided by 20%. And they can stack on each other. And you can put multiples on them and stack them. So they, you could do a, have a really high attack rate. And attack rate is busted. Moving on, we have your Cupid, who is a strength 60% dragon and one of the, well, one of the two best ones. He, he, her, Cupid and the Fire Throne are the two best ones. Cupid's skill, he does, a, is a healing skill, and it heals a lot, and it heals the entire team. The main reason why this is also very useful is, but it also buffs crit rate by 25% for 15 seconds. He has really good utility, and is a really good dragon in case he wanted to do heal the shrines of Tartarus or a high zodiac, any of the any of the dragon, any of the, like the certain boss end game boss fights. Moving on, we have light, for light. We have uh, we also have Corn State Phoenix, who is another one of the is the third of the strength and is one of the the affliction punisher dragon strength fifty percent affliction punisher twenty percent dragon. She inflicts paralysis, but the instead of decreasing the enemy's defense, she cleanses she cleanses the entire party of she get she removes curse and poison from every member of the party. So there's that. Then we have Tai Shang Gong Tia Shang Gong Zhu, who is the third she was in terms of she was the fourth dragon we got. Uh the first one was Freya Far by Han Mirutimus, then as is over here and the most recent one, Taya Shangang Zhu. She's an HP skill haste dragon. Her skill is Shinobi's, but weaker, so I think she's the weakest of the four right now. So, but she's still a good. She, which her skill is, is she does damage and she energizes the entire team, which is still energizing is still good, but I, she needs she needs a healing skill. Um, moving on, Shinobi. Shinobi, I basically talked about it. Uh, strength. Well, in terms of damage, his isn't destroy. Does have the highest mods. He energizes the entire team, which is even better because energized you do one point five damage, while with the other guys you only do one point four percent damage. So yeah, Shinobi is the best skill damage dragon. Uh, yeah, he's a skill damage dragon like Kona, Sakya, Siren, and Bayou. Moving on, we have Vitalis, who is also an interesting case. He does. Oh, and also, I think he was the first one. Yeah, he was one of the first uh, skill damage dragons. Um, I can't remember the order of the skill damage dragon, but I can check it, which I'm pretty sure... Yeah, it was... Yeah, it was, of course, the first one was... If I keep going down... No, wait, it was Konohanasaki who was first, and then Shinobi. Yeah, Konohanasaki, Shinobi, then Siren, and then finally we have um, Vayu. And we haven't seen one, and the, Vayu came out on 20, August 31st, 2019, almost a year now, and we haven't seen one for the night. So, yeah, hopefully that gets one soon. Um, Fatalis now is a different case. He gives you a permanent str strength 50% and that could work with any adventurer, but he also gives shapeshift, any shapeshift equals curse, where when you end the shapeshift, you get immediately put into curse. Now the good thing is, adventurers that, now here's the thing, adventurers like, um, adventurers like, uh, what's his name? Um, uh, specifically, event Fatalis is a very good dragon, but some of the best dragons that you specifically there's still some people who still use them, just like Drug King Raffalos. Um or is still optimal. Or is still optimal for most. Uh like just like Drug King Raffalos, uh, but only for a few of them, which I think it's uh Delphi and Linnea and yeah, Delphi and Linnea. Um the only one that 
The only issue is, is that he doesn't do, the main issue is that every, you don't want to shapeshift with him because you get cursed for the rest of the quest when you do that. Now you can use an affliction res, and also, I mean, now with shared skills, you can cleanse that with a Hildegard skill, or you can also cleanse that with a, or the other thing that you could do is, um, What's the other characters that you can use? Um, or you can, or if you're facing Master Cayenne, you can run into those unbreakable satellites, which give, which will move the curse and gives you blindness. But that's only also. But thankfully, the units like Belina and Aldred. Oh, Aldred is the other one that uses free towers. I be, no, no, no. They both use Ketsu. Belina and Aldred can use their special dragon drive, and they won't get hit by the shape, the curse. So that's the good news. Even if their shapeshift ends, uh, even if their dragon drive form ends. Um, moving on here, we have Epimetheus, who is the, who is the, who of course is another one of the affliction Punisher dragons. But she, he doesn't have any secondary effects. He just poisons. So yeah, he's probably the weakest out of the four. But he's still a great dragon. Then we have here Avisazel, who is the most recent HP, who is also the third HP strength. Dra HP and skill haste dragon. His skill is very useful. It does damage, which might not, which sounds kind of a, which I don't know why, which I would recognize a human skill, but his secondary abilities of his, of his skill is really good. In the case is that it inflicts poison, but it also gives poison punisher, increases po punisher to hours, making them do 15% more damage to enemies that are poisoned for 40 seconds. Then we have the newest dragon, Ramio, who Ramio is very good. He is a strength 60% dragon and fills 50% at the dragon gates at the start of the quest. But the main, which, I mean, that does, which is pretty good, which is you can immediately transform with him if you haven't maxed out. But the main thing is his is, is is skill. It does 806 damage, but, and and it inflicts poison, but here's the big thing. It reduces the enemy's defense by 20% for 15 seconds. It, it, unfortunately, that won't stack. Uh, this this defense reduction, in fact, will not stack. But it also immediately registers the second skill for use and gradually fills the skill gauges that they use as first to second skill by 1.5% every two seconds for 90 seconds. Abilities that increase skill gains for it will not affect this automatic increase. So, I mean, it's kind of small, but to tell you in detail, over oh, it lasts for 90 seconds, and it's every two seconds. So that is about 45 seconds. So 1.5 times. That means your it, it that means while it's active. For that 90 seconds, you're going to get up about 67.5% of your skill. And sometimes, I mean, that doesn't seem like, it does. unfortunately doesn't heal up right away, but that's still very useful, especially with the fact of the matter is that it immediately varies the second skill, and some people have a second skills that last a while on Shadow, that can take a long time to get to on Shadow, and this dragon helps out really well, essentially. So yeah, I think he's going to be a great dragon. Now we move on to S plus, where we have Gawa Mars, the newest edition Gawa, Gawa um, Thor and Gawa uh, Gawa Cat Sith. Gawa Mars has strength plus seventy percent and HP and strength plus tw and an additional strength plus twenty percent when you have H when your HP is fifty percent or above. Plus he has an ending shapeshift where, where he will fill up the entire, where he will max out all your skills, put them like fill them up all the way essentially, maxing out all their SPs immediately ready them for use, and his skill which does only seven hundred and fifty percent damage gives you a twenty percent strength increase for twenty seconds and can, and his skill can be used twice like Popstar Siren. So you get a forty percent strength increase, and he does a lot of damage. He is like one of the strongest dragons out there. Then we have Gawa Thor, 
I'm going to skip over it for now. I'm going to talk about Gower Cat Sith, who, her, she, she gives a buff called, tri, called, uh, called, uh, yeah, called Skillful Trickery, which for, get, makes the user's sex fifteen skills do 80% more skill damage. And every 25% hit combo will increase the damage dealt by an additional skill by 180%. You can only have fifteen percent. You only can have fifteen at most. And every time you end the you end the shape shift, the user's next eight skills. You it, it will give you eight more of those buffs. And her skill it doesn't do. It's a trap. It won't do as much. It does pretty good damage, but it's not too much. But the main thing that's really good about her is her attack thing, attack rate, which does. Which is her attack? It does. It can her attacks do a lot of damage, just like Gallon Mars. But it can also, it can also has a chance to put the enemy to sleep. So there's that. Now Galathor. Oh boy, he's the most recent one, and he is a beast. First up, abilities: Lightning Chariot Rider and Thunderbringer. He if the user is tuned to light, increases strength by fifty percent. Um. Increases the user's energy level by one stage at for every five seconds that pass, and provides a further increase to the user's strength based on the user's energy level, from a minimum of 25% at level 1, up to a maximum of 45% when the user is energized. Um, so, yeah, that's a max out, So which literally means you can get up to 95% when you are energized. Not only that, if the user is tuned to light, when the user's shift is done, energizes the entire team. Then, there's Thor's hammer. In this one, only does 325% damage and inflicts paralysis, but like Ramon, like, such as like Ramon and Nafta, you can tap the screen to increase the damage. At three taps, it goes up to 785. At six taps, it goes up to 1380. And at nine taps, it becomes the second strongest dragon skill in the game, doing 1780 damage. And it will. This attack will be unleashed after set time or upon reaching stage three. Next is mo modifiers. Oh boy, does he do a lot. So, I'm gonna do the math here. So, let me show you. So, let's take a look at Gawa Mars and Gawa Katsith. So, Gawa Katsith, in one combo, Gawa Mars does, with his standard attack combo, um, Does 1053. Gawa Katsith does 1110. So he does more, so she does more basic attack. But now look at this one. Uh, you can. Oh boy. Yeah, you see this extend thing. So, let's see. If I'm doing this right, so 11 times 58, 11 plus 10 plus 10. Yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, 6, so. Okay, if you want to know how much damage he does, he does. With his basic attack, 4,058. Thor is a destroy is with his skill. Thor is just power. Thor is oh boy. He is the best dragon on night right now. He is gonna be used on everyone. I happen to get him if you see my poll video. Um I only got one. Which at one he's still pretty good, uh, because he still has that combo, which is great. And unfortunately, yeah. So here's the thing. Um here's the second skill when you use the shift is undone, energizes the entire team. When you in this room when you first get it, it energizes it energizes it energizes the use and increases the entire team's energy levels by one stage. But yeah. 
At most, he, yeah, he, at level one, he does 47, at zero one bytes, he does 75%. He can get out to most. At, at 80, then it goes to 80, 85, 90, 95. So, yeah, I get him at one, and he'll already automatically, if I just get him unbind once, it's probably already, but, well, Daku Kuitan has that attack rate, so yeah. But, yeah, this is, a very powerful dragon. Galathor is the premier dragon essentially. But yeah, that's kind of be gonna be it for this video. That's my tier list. Sorry, this is a long video, kind of. But anyway, guys, if you like this video, please click the like button and leave a comment down below. I'll see you for uh, and share this video around. And if you haven't already, please subscribe uh, to my channel, click the notification bell to get updates when all my video when any of my videos go go public. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.